Yeah. Greetings, comrades. This is Andrew Caleb back with Shmup Saturday. Today we're playing a rather interesting uh, shmup up here. Yeah, I know it's kind of important at night time, but hey, I'll have to make some clips ahead of time. But yeah. anyway, this is CPU Invaders, and uh, I actually forgot I had this game in my library, but I fired it up, and uh, it's a pretty basic uh, mouse control shooter. And uh, if you see what's interesting about this is that it uses your desktop as battleground. Interesting, which, yeah, funny thing, I had to rec I recorded a clip earlier uh, for the game window itself, but uh, the uh, background is completely blank. So uh, if you're using Bandicam, if you're trying to record footage for this, make sure you use the full screen option for whatever display the game's on. Uh, don't record the game window itself because the background will just be black. So if you want to record the game with your uh, actual desktop in the background, make sure to record full screen. Otherwise, it's not look right. But uh, anyway, it's a pretty basic uh, shooter. Basically, uh, you use a WSAD to move around and you use the uh, mouse to aim and fire. Let me get started. I should play a few levels. I'm trying to make this quick as the A reacting with myself and B run a little test footage to see what works and what doesn't. But yeah, again, don't record the uh, game window itself. Record the uh, full screen uh, display. Whatever display your uh, game's on. On the monitor, then just the full screen. <coughs> Yeah, and flashing lights, we can probably do it without those. Cool. Basically, just fly around, shoot these enemies as they appear in this desktop. And what's interesting, the desktop could be literally anything. You got Skyrim back on like I do, you do that. If you want to watch YouTube videos while playing this, you can. Not in that form while doing it, you can. I wasn't paying attention to uh, enemies that appeared out of nowhere. But, uh, there's, there's no option to uh, adjust the sound effects, so the game's going to be pretty loud in here regardless, so yeah. I'll just try to speak a little louder to the mic. You know, the game might not seem too loud, but still. I do have the uh, game on the but uh, it's a uh, basic 8 bit style soundtrack. Why not? Could have done with some power ups, though, but hey. Actually, uh. You can pause. Um, give me a minute. I need to check something real quick. Alright, I'm back. Just had to get a little drink and uh, see my nephew, and he just got back from work. Anyway, let's uh, hear the Quantum uh, Space Invaders. When I first saw the name, I thought it'd be like Space Invaders. Uh, you know, it's kind of off, but hey. Go so shoot him up. Just use your uh, desktop. The uh, background. Yeah, other than the novelty of that, it's really nothing special, really. And the thing is, this game retails for five dollars. So, yeah, I'm not sure if it's worth five dollars. One dollar, maybe. But buy the maybe get one on sale. Which, uh, yeah, this quick recording it actually is on sale for like fifty cents. Along with the other games from this uh, publisher, I have a shit ton of games on this piece. As well as uh, Microblast, who are the developers. They also have quite a decent selection of games. Including a few I actually have, like uh, Red Risk. I think, uh, I think I heard Deb. Overcast, I think I have that. Uh, Alden and the Werewolf. 
interesting games here. Yeah, could have done with some power up. Like spread shots, like uh, piercing shots, the attack full swing. One. Oh, maybe a homing attack? Oh, you have a, a spread attack. So right. Yeah, you can't hold both up on the most You won't attack at all. I would say it's a twin stick shooter, but as far as I can tell, this uh, game doesn't have controller support. I tried playing with my Xbox controller earlier, but uh, it wasn't registered, so yeah, that's the keyboard all the way. It is a little interesting when you take damage, I feel like a crack of the character. has like uh power ups like more weapons other than your the two you have like maybe at least a different selection of characters different stats and stuff like other shooters maybe this game be worth picking out but I could have done without the lights though you see the HUD's pretty basic just the health up here menu button Enemy just killed and never left. Nice how like warning signs like you know like, enemies are coming. Like, nothing's worse than to like Okay. I'm not sure if it's showing the achievements. A lot better for five dollars, but it's a lot worse. Like the other little novelty of using your your desktop as a background, it's nothing special really. 
Yeah, maybe we've had some more variety with, like, you know, weapons, or maybe you get, like, a selection of characters to choose from. Maybe I'd recommend it, but as it is, eh. The novelty of using your desktop as a background isn't enough, in my opinion. If you're interested, you know, again, wait for it to go on sale, which it is on sale now, but... If you're interested, get it while you can while it's 50 cents. Otherwise, eh. Maybe pass on this. There are far better shooters out there. Anyway, this is I'm Giving Caleb signing out. Have a good day. Suck it up, life's tough, we know that Someone's got better stuff and can throw cash Tell them I don't give a fuck, make my own path I don't need no handouts, I'm my own man Gotta get it, I'll get it, get it and pass, yeah Got a girl that she'll get it, get it, she bet, yeah Man, I only get down with the best, uh I'ma leave the complaints with the rest, uh